Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and today we are going to talk about some shoe drops from Brooks. Now normally I would just create a simple blog post for these things but um, I was invited to their kind of, they had a media launch for it and so I was able to take some video and um, you know it's always better to see things visually uh, as while I'm explaining what these new shoe drops contain and what makes them different from previous models so here goes <laughs> the theme of the media launch was did the earth get softer and um, these I think these five models of shoes um, each feature Brooks's cushioning technology in different ways Reading from the press release, DNA AMP is a polyurethane-based cushioning system engineered to provide unparalleled energy return. So the shoes that use the DNA AMP are a bit springier. Um, if, you, if you like making the shoes do the work for you, then I think this um, cushioning would be a good fit for you. We are going to talk about the shoes with the DNA AMP. The Levitate 2. Now I had an opportunity to try out the Levitate, the first um, the first version of the Levitate a few months ago and I didn't really come up with a review for it because I, I found it difficult to run in them because I'm not the kind of person who needs a whole lot of shoe and the Levitate was a whole lot of shoe back then. But looking at the Levitate 2 model, it's built um, slightly lighter. I mean, uh, it, it doesn't look as beefy, but the cushioning, I think it's been updated. So it's supposed to provide you a lot of energy return. So you're a bit more springy. The other thing that's new with the Levitate, aside from the cushioning that they have, is the new knit upper. You can see that the collar around the ankle is uh, its pretty reminiscent of a few other shoes that I've featured here. So I think it's a new trend for shoe companies to make their uppers a bit more sock-like. And I'm sure a lot of people like this fit, but other people might find it polarizing for them. So yeah, the basic message of the Levitate 2 with DNA AMP is that it provides a lot of energy return. Another cushioning technology that Brooks is using for this round of shoe updates is the DNA Loft. So now, this is more about being really soft. From the press release, the DNA Loft is a finely calibrated mix of EVA foam, rubber, and air. So this DNA loft makes the sensation really soft underfoot, but uh, because they've added slightly more rubber to the mix, it makes the midsole a bit hardier. So you're not going to worry so much about the shoe wearing out too quickly. Extra air in the midsole ensures that DNA loft won't weigh you down. Um, okay, so it's both soft and light. Now the shoe models that feature the DNA loft are the Ghost 11 and the Glycerin 16. You can see that by the numbering convention, the 11 and the 16 have been around for quite some time. So these are fan favorites um, among Brooks users. So hopefully the users, the regular users of these models will like the update. So those are the shoe models with these updated and new cushioning and energy return technologies. But um, of course, Brooks had to update a few other shoes as well. So the Transcend 5 features it, its older cushioning technology, Super DNA, but they updated the guide rails. So what this does for Transcend is that um, it gives you a bit more support, the lateral support, so your foot moves forward the way it's supposed to. So the shoe that's actually undergone the least amount of transformation in terms of the materials used is the Adrenaline GTS. The best-selling Adrenaline GTS has the same trusted cushion and support runners have grown to love plus a new streamlined look so it's basically just the upper that's changed and it's just the look that's changed but it's supposed to feel quite similar to previous models i know there are some people they're really loyalists and when when they love a shoe model they don't want it to change 
they wanted to change the least amount possible between iterations. And I understand that whenever I have a, a favorite shoe and it undergoes a change in the cushioning, it just changes the feel of the shoe and how I perform in it. So uh, it's nice that for the Adrenaline GTS, it's a bit more gradual. It's just you know, it's just a more streamlined look, but it has what runners have grown to love about the shoe. So those were five models. The Levitate 2, the Ghost 11, the Transcend 5, the Glycerin 16, and the Adrenaline GTS 18. They've all been updated in their own ways, some more than others, hopefully for the better. I have not received any of these shoes for review yet, so I, I really can't say um, what I think about how they perform, but if you've already gone out and picked up a pair of any of these shoes Please let me know what you think of them in the comments below Or you can hit me up on my social media accounts so that we can have a chat now Brooks can be found in all runner stores um, se selected Toby sports stores uh, and also in SM department stores in Mall of Asia, North Edsa, and Davao. So you can, um, in most places in the country, find yourself a pair of Brooks shoes to look at, to try out, to purchase, and hopefully to love. Alright guys, if you found this video um, informative, if it's piqued your interest about the Brooks line, the upcoming and the, um, the current line of shoes available, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. I know this is a very short and sweet video for this week, um, but hopefully I can come out with a more detailed review of other shoes that I've already received in the next few weeks. See you guys next time. Bye.